Hi everybody, Julie here from the Sales Manager. Welcome to this week's Sales Tip of the Week. So following on from last week's Sales Tip aimed at all of you doing telemarketing, I want to talk to you about how to structure a killer opening statement. Picture the scene you get through to the person that you want to talk to, the decision maker, the first time you're going to actually speak to them. And this is the make or break as to actually whether they will continue to take your call or whether they won't. Now, a lot of mistakes are made by just going completely gung-ho and coming at that um, person at a million miles an hour with everything that you want to achieve from the call and nothing that they want to achieve from the call. So I'm just going to give you some hints and tips about how we can do that. So the first thing I would say is when you're constructing an opening statement, you need to um, build in the whiff and factor. In other words, clearly in a very, very quick sentence, communicate to that other person that there is a value for talking to you. Let me give you an example. I do telemarketing and telesales for my business, sales, uh, sales training. Now, if I was to phone up the um, MD of a business to talk to him about training his sales team and go in on the case of it's Julie Futcher from the sales manager, I wanted to talk to you about sales training from your business, there's no whiff and factor. But if I phone him or her and say, Julie Futcher from the sales manager. I'm calling today to talk to you about how I can help increase revenue by providing sales training for your teams. That's a slightly different thing. The whiff and factor is the increasing revenue. And this is something to really, really think about. If you've not read that book, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, I strongly suggest you do. There's a message coming through in that book is how to talk to people to get them to do something for you in a way that they see the value. It's a very, very poignant read. And the last thing I want to talk to you about on opening statements is to include a sentence which I find is the most contentious sentence that I ever um, have had discussions with in the training room. And it's the, have I caught you at a good time or is it a good time to talk? And that's something that I would put on the end of my opening statement as I'm, as I'm phoning through. The reason I use it is to show respect for the person that I'm calling, particularly if it's cold calling. I've never spoken to them before. I've stepped into their world. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're in a meeting. I don't know whether they're in the middle of a report. And the last thing I want to do is upset them. But the most important thing for me as a salesperson is if I want to talk to them about what I'm trying to, in inverted commas, sell to them, I want their undivided attention. I want that person to be in the moment with me. I don't want them to have one ear listening to me and trying to finish a meeting. So the reason I use it is to ensure that. Now, I'm sure some of you are sitting there going, Julie, that's all very well, but if you give them an opportunity to say no, they're going to throw you out the door. Reality bites that in my career, it's probably happened to me a few times where I've called back and I can't get through. But if I'm calling back, what am I going to get? I'm going to get a date and time to make that call. But also what can happen is if, you, if they say to you, well, mm, no, but what's it about? You could then start in the call. So something to think about, but those opening statements, build in that whiff and factor. That's the most important thing. Show the benefit of that person talking to you. So there you go, Julie from the sales manager with this week's tip. I hope you've enjoyed it. And the next thing I'm just going to follow up with next week is the body of the call, how we can actually um, be very, very effective when we make that call. See you next week. Take care. Bye.